What's up, y'all? So, I'm gonna make this a really, really quick video. Somebody asked me a question, and I thought it was a very interesting question. They asked me, you know, why do I talk so much shit? And when I talk shit, a lot of times, well most times, I just be, I'm joking around, I'm playing and stuff like that. Sometimes my playing knows no bounds and I cross a boundary from time to time. And you know, most times I'm like, well okay, you know, my bad, I apologize for that. Cause I, I could get very childish. But the thing is, I talk shit to women and men like I'm not just talking shit to women like no I don't, and I don't just talk shit to men so my thing is not every statement deserves a response so the way I think of it when it comes to situations like that there's more psychological games at play than just physical mental or emotional like if someone says something sideways damn all that started with an S if someone says something sideways about me I don't have to dignify that with a response and you know I used to feel like if I didn't respond I'd look like a bitch whether it's man or woman but now I you know I got a good talk or two recently by one of my good friends you know shouts out to you you know who you are so it's come to the point where if someone says something sideways about me I'm gonna keep a leveled head or if something or you know my bad or if someone does something to me I have to get you back I just have to but I'm slowly learning that revenge is you know a meal best served cold and you know, the man upstairs will always get better revenge than you can. You may think you're getting the top-notch revenge, but you're really not. You're getting just a tip of the iceberg, if that. So when someone talks shit to me, older folks, younger folks, any anything like that, it's up to me to determine whether or not you're important enough or whether or not your statement was disrespectful enough for me to even respond to it. Because if I respond to it and it wasn't worthy, realistically, I'm just wasting my time. And that's how y'all should feel. Not every negative thing that someone says about y'all is worth your response because now you're wasting your time to try to answer them. And that's not, no, life is too short for all of that. So, you know, the way my mentality is, if I think it deserves a response, it'll get a response. But rarely ever am I going to respond to someone who's talking shit. You could be right in front of me and talking shit and all that. All those words don't mean nothing. Just don't touch me. That's my biggest thing. You may know a lot of hood motherfuckers. I know a lot of hood motherfuckers. You may know more. I may know more. I may know less. You may know less. But it shouldn't have to get to that point. We got too many people out here dying over this petty ass bullshit that be coming out of people's mouths and the, the shit that they be doing. And I'm just not at that point anymore. So if I don't respond or I don't argue with someone who may be talking shit to me, I'm not scared. <laughs> like, you die just like I will. You bleed just like I'll bleed. Like, that's that's nothing to me. My whole thing is, you know, People just don't understand that life goes on. You could talk all the shit you want and still not do anything and still not mean nothing by it. So at the end of the day, it's really whatever. I'm living life. I'm doing what I'm trying to do, trying to build myself up, trying to be, the, be a better person, live a better life. That's all I'm concerned about. As long as you don't touch me, I don't give a fuck what you do. You could threaten me, talk shit about me, call me names, all that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Do what you do, and I'ma do what I do, and I'ma keep being great, and you can talk all the shit that you want to.